When the last time, when the last time any of y'all heard a, a conservative say, "I'm fuck you, I'm not racist." When the last time you heard that? Hit one, hit one. Hit, just give me an example in the chat. When the last time you heard a conservative say, "Hey man, fuck you, I'm not racist." What I did wasn't racist. Fuck you. In in so many words too. It don't don't have to be exactly fuck you, but. When last time you heard a conservative say, nah, man, nah, I, I, I reject that. What I did wasn't racist and, and I reject it. And I'm not I'm not dealing it with what you, I'm not living in the prism of what I did was racist or what I said was racist. I reject that. I'm talking about a public conservative. I reject it. I reject what you said about me being racist. No, it's, I'm not going to um, argue with you. I'm not going to try to reason with you. I reject it. I reject your statement calling me racist. We're not arguing. We're not reasoning. We're not hashing it out. I'm not trying to get you to see it my way. Fuck you. I wasn't racist. Fuck you. What I said wasn't racist. Fuck you. What I did wasn't racist. The well, last time you seen that. Shout out to um Jude R, man. He says, beat the V mandate and finally got my job back after not complying. Listen to your show all the time while doing Uber. It helped me get through the hard times, but made me paranoid that I would get robbed by a son. <laughs> Yeah, man, you should be paranoid that you're gonna get robbed by the sun. That 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 paranoia um will help you when you're deciding what fares to take, man. There's nothing wrong with being paranoid about getting robbed by a sun. A lot of sons are. A lot of some people are paranoid about getting robbed by sun. A lot of some people are paranoid about getting robbed by sun. Shout out to Leroy D. That's Wicked's best friend right there, man. He said, deport all mammies to Haiti. I'm with it, man. I'm with it. I'm with that 100%. I'm with that 100%. Deport all mammies and fucking... Whiners and complainers to Haiti. Um, JL says, salute to Smokey Treats and the Ock who uses us, who does us a great public service every night on YouTube. Keep it, it keep on keeping it real. Yeah, man. This the town hall, man. This the town hall. You got channels, you got other channels that are good for conservatives that are going to be really good during the election, man. A lot of conservative channels are doing good work right now, man. A lot of good conservative channels, black channels are doing good work. My boy Steve Kim said something very interesting, man, the other day. I want to get into that, man. Um, I want to get into that, man. As well, but Steve, I, I wanted to. Start out just talking about giving Kevin Samuels his flowers. He was the king of the manosphere and it has inspired many of us that are trying to capture some of his audience. You know, Jason, as you bring me on to talk about the black manosphere and uh, Kevin Samuels, boy, we've come a long way since the uh, 1992. I'll just leave it at that. But anyway. Boy, time sure flies. I remember when he passed away suddenly that I was actually in Las Vegas for a fight last year. I believe it was uh, Oscar Valdez against Shakur Stevenson. Um, you know, with, with uh, Kevin Samuels, it wasn't so much the messaging, which I thought was incredibly important. But for me, as someone that goes on the air and debates topics or talks about things, what I really took from him 
was presentation, how analytical he was, and how fact-based and how driven he was by knowledge and the truth, and to actually to remain calm in the face of people that might get emotional, to really say, hey, th these are my points, it's not gonna change, I'm gonna stay composed, you can fly off the handles, call me whatever you want, but stick with the messaging, but be well-researched in whatever point you argue, whatever vantage point you have. That's, that's the thing. I mean, I still watch Kevin Samuels to this day, not just for laughs. And trust me, there are a lot of laughs that you can glean from it. But I, I do think he was part, and I don't want to give him all of the credit, because like you said, there have been other people like Tommy, who, by the way, is back. I don't know if he's been banned yet, but it's good to see Tommy back for at least a while. Um, but he, I think, was a, a, um, was a, a lightning rod for a lot of things that Men have to start sticking up for themselves. The world is not always fair. In fact, it might be uh, against us in a lot of ways. And, and I think his message went beyond just black men. I think that's what people don't understand. The black manosphere in a lot of ways is the manosphere. Because, you know, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I really listen to mostly black content creators for the most part. And I'll tell you why. is because they are not afraid. White men have capitulated to a point that they're all just a bunch of cucks. Yeah, I said it. Cut. All right. <laughs> that's a that's a tiger saying that. <laughs> that's a tiger, man. Even tigers see it, man. <laughs> Even tigers see it, man. Wow. Even tigers see it, man. Even tigers see it the most part and i'll tell you why is because they are not really listen to mostly black content creators for the most part and i'll tell you why is because they are not afraid white men have capitulated to a point that they're all just a bunch of cucks yeah i said it cucks they are afraid to say anything that will be deemed racist or offensive and they back down and they start to say things softening their message not wanting the blowback while a lot of the guys that i listen to and i can give you the list of my, well, my main lineup is they're not afraid and that even tiger see it man even tiger see it man <laughs> listen man you guys are going to get your ass kicked in November of 2024. Even if you have more votes, they're just going to come back from behind the fucking clock, from behind the goddamn curtain and say, hey, we counted up the, um, we counted, <laughs> we counted up the, the mail in ballots, y'all. Um, well, what do you know? We won again. <laughs> and you're going to be sitting there looking stupid. So, you're fucked, man. They're going to tell you, complaining about mail-in ballots is racist because statistically, more black people do mail-in ballots than any other race. And you'll be fucked because you can't say anything once they say that. <laughs> yeah man y'all are fucked man sorry 